Hyperthyroidism is a condition where the thyroid gland produces an excess amount of thyroid hormones. This hormonal imbalance can lead to a range of symptoms and complications. In the pathophysiology, hyperthyroidism can be caused by various factors including Graves' disease, toxic multinodal goiter, and toxic adenoma of the pituitary gland, due to which we see an increased synthesis and release of thyroid hormones, specifically T3 and T4 from the thyroid gland. But then the question arises, how does hyperthyroidism manifest clinically? We can divide these based on metabolic causes and symptoms due to sympathetic overdrive. The metabolic ones include heat intolerance and unexplained weight loss despite an increased appetite. Females may also experience menstrual irregularities. The symptoms due to sympathetic overdrive include anxiety, palpitations, tachycardia, tremors, and exophthalmos. If left untreated, hyperthyroidism can lead to various complications. One serious complication is a thyrotoxic crisis also known as thyroid storm, which is a life-threatening condition characterized by severe hyperthyroidism. Hyperthyroidism can cause cardiac complications such as arrhythmias, congestive heart failure, and angina, osteoporosis, which can lead to bone fractures. And in cases mainly associated with Graves' disease, the patient can have ophthalmopathies, which can manifest as proptosis, which means that the eyeball slightly protrudes out of the eye socket, diplopia, commonly known as double vision, and corneal ulceration due to dryness of the corneal layer, and lid lag. To diagnose hyperthyroidism, healthcare professionals follow specific guidelines. First, they assess the patient's clinical symptoms and perform a physical examination. Then they measure the levels of thyroid stimulating hormone or TSH in the blood. If the TSH levels are low, they confirm the diagnosis with free thyroxine T4 and triiodothyronine T3 levels. Additional tests such as thyroid ultrasound, radioactive iodine uptake scan, and thyroid antibodies may also be performed. Now, let's discuss the management of hyperthyroidism. Based on the NICE guidelines, the primary treatment approach involves the use of antithyroid drugs such as carbimazole or propyl thiouracil, which inhibit the synthesis of thyroid hormones. Beta blockers like propranolol can also be prescribed to provide relief from symptoms such as tachycardia, tremors, and anxiety. In some cases, radioiodine therapy may be recommended. This involves the administration of oral radioactive iodine to destroy excess thyroid tissue. Another option is surgery, known as thyroidectomy, where part or all of the thyroid gland is removed. Patient education about the importance of adherence to treatment and follow-up appointments is crucial for successful management. Thanks for watching you guys. You can go check out more videos on the channel. Do leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. If you have any questions or suggestions, you can leave a comment down below. I'll see you next time.